welcome to the Coach Kyle Show. Hello and hi there. Welcome to another episode of the Coach Kyle Show. I want to remind you that whatever you're going through in life, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. I'm your host, Kyrie McKinnon. Alongside me, the wingman, the great wall of men. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you, man? Yeah, everything. Um, the weather is kind of crazy outside, <laughs> but we're happy to be inside in, in a safe place. Yeah. Um, it's very important. Remember the show, we talk all things soccer. But the objective of this show, the ultimate objective, I must add, is to impact young people uh, to live out their purpose. Yes, it's very important in this time, in these very uncertain times where you have to try and navigate through um, to understand purpose. I say it's the it's the gas in the car, it's the gas uh, that keeps the car going. So I want you to understand it's not just a, a, a um, let's run and kick the ball show, but we use um, this... Uh, this sport to impact. There are many people using, you know, other other aspects of life to empower people. Um, we are fortunate and blessed um, to to have played the game, to have committed ourselves to the game, and now we're using the game to impact our young people. Yes. Um, I want to take this time also to say to say good night and hello uh, for some people. Some people good night is goodbye, and some people good night is hi. So we want to say good night wherever you are and hello wherever you are. Uh, we appreciate you taking this time to join us. Um, feel free to 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 share your comments within the comment section. Um, share this live with your friends, with your family, even with your coach. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at Kyrie McKinnon and Co. Uh, via YouTube. It's, it's important that our message um, meet, uh, reach as much young people because this is our purpose, to really impact the lives of our young people. Tonight we speak in on soccer is a game of space. Um, but before uh, before we get through this and we navigate through this statement, um, we want you to know that this is an uncommon show. It's it's unscripted, but one thing it is, it's authentic. All right, so stay tuned as we go to this short break and we come back to discuss soccer is a game of space. We'll be right back. Coyote, McKinnon, and company are ready to dress you in one of their most stylish, comfortable, and attractive athletic gears this fall for you to achieve that desired athletic goal. Check out their online store today for your joggers, tank tops, bras, backpacks, sweatshirts, and everything else you'll need to complete that look. It's Coyote, McKinnon, and company. We care. Welcome back to the Coach Kyle Show. You're with your host, Kyle, there alongside me, the great Awal Ahmed. And you can see our cash up on the left side of the screen. Um, please do support this academy in our vision 
to excuse me to bring football or soccer to every child that has the desire to do so and your help sorry your help can um, can help us to reach um, those very unfortunate young ones that want to um, live out their purpose but don't have the necessary resources so let's navigate through this um, this 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 very important topic soccer is a game of space this is an, this is an exciting topic when when you when you hear space and you know what, what, what comes to mind time, time. <laughs> space and time space and time. space and time man this is what we look for on a field yeah. this is where i look for on a film there's 22 players they there's not that much space on no field so like you said with the game with intelligent players you have to always find space you have to even if it's small amount of space you got to constantly look for it yeah so yeah uh one of the things um i like to say is uh, we form our ideas uh, with from soccer based on our on our culture that's true you know that's true. me coming from guyana south america uh 83 000 square miles uh, but we we haven't shown the ability to utilize our space, um, the full potential of of the space. One, uh, because we're vastly underpopulated because of migration, um, people taking their skills to different places uh, for different reasons um, to give them a chance to live out their dreams, and and that's one of the reason. Uh, one of the reasons, and the second key reason we uh, we are a bit centralized we we do a lot of the important things or import we have the, the some of the most important events in a specific location or a specific area um, that being said we for for me doing that you never truly understand how to utilize um your space mm -hmm. uh, culture and identity forms or establish how you play the game, the style, your style of play. So you can see the relation between um, culture and the game of soccer and how you utilize space. What, 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 what have you ever looked at it from that perspective where, you know, your culture form your identity is who you are. Yeah, it establish it establish what you were taught, um, and and obviously we are colonized um, yeah. nation for for many years. <laughs> we may go right back from slavery, yeah. and then um, the Dutch came, and then from the Dutch we had the British. So we we went through like a whole metamorphosis uh, with having all of these different culture empowering us. Uh, which we never had the opportunity to really identify with with mm. who we really are. Added to that, you have all of this space, and you own and you're only utilizing a specific area okay. with all this space. Then it creates yeah, a level of thinking which which we will go we will go a bit deeper in, but. Think about it, country, culture, and then soccer. Okay, yeah. You have this country. In this country, you, you develop a culture which leads to your identity, and that creates your style of play. Right. You cannot do what you're not. Okay, but most countries, I feel like even you talk about Guyana, mm -hmm. I feel like most countries, especially in Ghana, we've, we, I mean, 92 92,099 square miles. Yeah. We don't have, there's not that much space, but we grew up playing a lot of small posts. I don't know if you guys did the same thing. Yeah. So there was, there was really no space <laughs> at all. So if you watch how our style of play is, we like to get on the ball and use these small pockets of space throughout the field. Yeah. Yeah. And then when you, when you start looking at it in, in that light, you, you get to understand some of our struggles when it relates to how we coach the game, how we play okay. the game, why we haven't truly dominate at the highest yeah. level. When you look at the Caribbean countries, 
you look at the African tr countries with this awesome talent, it's, talent it, it's always it's, it's like it. we always could get <laughs> to a certain point, and then it's like we it's, how come we can go above that because we don't look at all the factors mm -hmm. that influence what we do. We just look some sometimes we're so centralized in everything. We we you know we so we we kind of narrow yeah, in in exactly. in everything we do. Then it's, we we're not able to step out and 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 go true. a bit deeper and be a bit more intentional in why the things are occurring that are occurring. It's important. It's important uh, to understand the utilization of space based on. What you do in, in, in attack, what you do in, in defense, and vice versa in all the other moments of the game. There are six moments in the game. Some will argue five. Um, but all those moments is determined by how you utilize the space and how you control the game. Soccer is a game of space. I remember... Back in in, in 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 my in my local club at home, we are a dominant club, top 20. We're a dominant club around it's where you live? Yeah, we around 19, go way back, 1995. <laughs> we're a dominant club. We 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 had a lot of national players, the okay, Colleagues, the okay. the, uh, the 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 Bellamine, and we could go on and on and on. Um, and they had this, they had this space that was unutilized within within our area, within our community. Okay. And we decided that, uh, listen, we will develop this space, and we will create uh, an environment within the community that will attract. Okay. Not just uh, young players to play, but attract. Um, overseas games, like teams coming in and playing us, and and this this was a big vision. It was so, a big vision. So you guys are gonna do that. You yeah, guys, like okay, the club, okay. the club uh, wanted to embark on 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 this on this project. We started the project, and we're going back to country, and now everything is so centralized, and and everything is there's so much space that is unutilized. When we decided that we wanted to take take this um, this project on, a group of people within the community said, "You know what? No, and you're not. You guys are not doing it. Remember, right? This thing, this this space is unutilized for years. It's just dormant. Okay. Now we decide that listen, we will utilize this space. But look at mentality, look at culture." Space have never been utilized to to the full extent that it should. Okay. So we decided we will start this process, and they decided that you know it it had other factors in there, and they didn't want us uh, to to do nothing there. Sadly, twenty years or maybe twenty five years have passed, and that space is exactly how it was. Nothing. So, just, so, just bush. So, what was the purpose? So, again, so what was the purpose of that? Then they don't understand the importance of utilizing space as a culture, as a people, you know, and that or that oftentimes lead to how you and I, growing up in 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 this environment, understand the importance of space. Space. Is a very important thing. You can relate space to so many other aspects that if you are a soccer player, these things has a, a um, an impact on how you play the game. Now, we just started this thing, so we're not going to get ahead of ourselves okay. because we got some things to unpack for you to truly understand the importance of if you want to be a top player, you want to... Uh, Excel in this game, you have to understand space. Soccer is space and time. With all the other factors around, it's about how you utilize space and how you control space. Um, 
This will determine your ability to function effectively in the different moments of the game. But we want to we want to give them a chance to 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 marinate on that a bit because when you start talking about culture and country, okay. the question might ask, so what do I have to do with space? It has everything to do with how you play the game and how you utilize space, okay? Because you play the game based, you cannot create a style of play without understanding the culture and the identity of the people. If you are doing that, maybe that's why you are not you're not game to win the World Cup. You're not game mm -hmm. to produce more professional players from your country. You're not game to have a sustainable professional league within your country because you have not connect the two things. You're trying to create a, 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 an environment that is not suited to your people and you're not enabling them or educating them on their history so they can uh, they can see the connection and that might start the process of growth but before we unpack this thing and before um, you you truly understand the importance of, of of space and how it can help you to perform at a high level we we want to give you a chance we want to give you a chance to think about it to get to maybe get your friends in <laughs> to get your teammates in young players you should be you should be listening here to see if you can gather any information that might change your mindset and impact um, your forward movement. We will be right back. As this ball is coming, we're able to get goal side. We're able to stop the back pass, close the space, get between the passing lanes. Get between the passing lanes because we said once the ball is under pressure, we establish that now we're moving from marking man, we're still aware of where all players are. Awareness. But we are now closing space and we're trying to defend with the intention to attack. Welcome back. The Coach Kyle Show. Kyle McKinnon here alongside me, the great Awal Ahmed. Growing up playing in um, in America, first okay. of all, and then you had to go back to Ghana to truly understand the mentality. <laughs> you, had, you had two different things going on there. Uh, how was space? How, how was space taught? Like how important um, it was for you um, how important it was within your environment okay. when it when it related when it relates to space and how they how they how they function with within that capacity. I see. Coming coming from like I said, mm -hmm. playing here, I felt like I had a lot of time and space on the ball. I felt like players didn't understand time and space, so I had so much time to do whatever I felt that I need to do with the ball. So I didn't, I didn't really think about it, to be honest with you. I didn't really think about it until I went back home. I felt like I never had space. I felt like every time I got the ball, somebody's on me. Somebody was closing me up. And I was like, well, how many players on the field? I, I even got confused at times. How many players on this field? It felt like I could never, I didn't have, I had to think even faster. Yeah. Because I, I, I didn't, I didn't, there's always two, one player on the ball and closing me up. So it took me a while to adjust, to be honest. It took me a, it took me a long time to adjust to time and space and always looking for that. How it affect you though from a from like from an emotional standpoint, how you felt like this affected you? Did it did it did it did, it did something to your confidence level? Yeah, it bothered me. It yeah. bothered me a lot because I I always felt I again with the players, I say we talk about the game. Mm -hmm. Mentally I feel like I have that intelligence when it comes to the game. But I it was a certain speed playing in America compared to to Ghana, I always felt there was space and time here, playing here. I always felt that. I didn't, I've never was like, oh, okay, these players are closing me up. But going back home, I guess also with the players, these players are even faster. They're aggressive. They, mm -hmm. it's a certain mentality playing there. So I felt like, what is, is it me? It took me time. I said it took me two to three years, to be honest, to really adjust to, to like, okay, I have to see this space way ahead of time before, I, <laughs> before this ball even comes to me. Yeah, it, it took me so long. You understand? It bothered me for a while. 
but I understood why because I was too different, two different, two different, different cultures, cultures yeah. two different environments, two different. <laughs> some people will fight for space, and some people will give you space, space you're right. based on their culture. But we want to address uh, two types of space. We have a narrow space. Okay. We have big space. And when we say big space, we're talking about what most coaches relates to wide and long. And they talk about big space. Um, and this is oftentimes, if you look, when people talk about narrow space and big space, it yeah. also might be related to their country's layout. Mm. And if you know anything about the Dutch, how small the, their country is and how they were very, very particular about the utilization of space. They had to be very creative. They had to um, be very astute with what, how they, how they place their homes and, and all of that because um, of the different, uh, the difficulties of the, the area in which they live because I think the, um, they were on the sea level and there'd be a lot of flooding. So they had to, they, it's like they have this little space and they have to figure out how they're going to use this space. So that creativity in itself um, enabled, because the Dutch talk a lot about space. A lot of, of people course. use um, the saying. Dutch method. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Um, even though we had this conversation where we talk about the diversity, even though the Dutch never won the World Cup. Mm. Yeah. Yet they have a big influence on the game, and one of their one of their big big attributes is how they utilize the field, how they utilize space, and how creative, how technical their players are. Everything is is down to detail. I used to say that the Dutch plays from a book, from a black and white book, because everything is so detailed. Everything moves and flows in a certain way. And we're saying because they understood the importance of space. Soccer is a game of space. And I go back to I go back to my to, to my country. Um, it's the third smallest state uh, uh, state by area in midland in midland South America. Okay. And guess what? We are one of the most sparsely populated nations in the world. <laughs> we are the so people. They you got a group of people living over here, and then a group of people living somewhere else, and then those people don't even connect with each other. I live in Guyana for many years, and I don't even know half of the country because I've never <laughs> gone there. Do you understand that? Well, is that normal? People it's hear? normal. Okay. <laughs> they have people who have never seen the other side of Guyana. And they live there all their and life. And they live there oh, all their life. life. <laughs> you said we're one of the most sparsely populated nation in the world. But because, and, and we look at how the British we we have we reflect more the behavior of the british england because we drive on the same side of the road a lot of our political whatever comes from come from 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 that history um and they colon they colon uh, colonize us in in with a certain mentality and and we we oftentimes find ourselves playing the game and if you look at our map from above our map is very narrow okay it's very narrow so we go back underpopulated underpopulated through migration everything is centralized you know maybe they're making efforts now to go further but what i know everything is very centralized okay we are the, the the we are the most spar sparsely populated nation within the world. Okay, now narrow narrow map. Don't you think that that does something to how we see outside of our lines? I believe you know. I believe it limits our ability to see the entire space. We struggle. And, okay. you know, some might say, well, 
Why would you say that? Because we have a lot of talent within our nation. We have a lot of talent. But we always get to a certain level and then it's like that's where we max out. And I don't believe we should, but we've never looked at the game from a cultural standpoint. We never look at the game from our, our how our our how how our country is laid out. We never believe that that has an impact yeah, on how we play the game with space. Remember, we're talking about soccer is a game of space. Who plays soccer? People. People. People's mind. How do they develop their mind? From colonialization in most of the of 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 the you know the, the countries who went through slavery and all of these things, how you were taught, all of these things impact how you see the game because it establishes your style of play. You cannot speak about style of play. And don't address culture and address identity. These things determine or define how you play the game. So the smaller countries continue to suffer because lack of resources, lack of preparation. But I believe, you know, whatever you have, you can utilize it to the best yeah. or to the maximum yeah. and get what you want if you understand all of these factors we just can't go out and train and we'll show you um please stay with us as we because we we there's more to unpack for you to un, truly understand we, we, we laying the foundation remember we, we always say we just can't rush into the thing we have to we have to establish where this is coming from um, to truly understand the game of soccer and how space can play a vital part because if you look at America, right, it was what the third or fourth largest country in the world with with what three point eight million yeah. square miles. Yeah, three hundred and three. Good. So New York, right? <laughs> New York is the largest city. Is the largest city, right? But there's no space in New York. <laughs> they utilize all the space. <laughs> Try going in Manhattan and walking. You walk in sideways. <laughs> Because every time you make a step, you, you run into somebody. somebody. <laughs> so they utilize space to their full mm. capacity. And if you look at the America map, it is big. It's huge. Okay? And it gets some curves. And it, it's not just straight. It's it's kind of, it looks kind of round. Mm. You understand? So it's big. Anything with curve creates more space. Okay? Straight lines, no space. But look at America and how they map situated and how they try to utilize every single space. Look at the traffic situation. <laughs> Certain times you like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. you don't drive this time, you don't drive time because there'll be no there'll be no space. So for a country that is so huge. For, for all it because people want to come and everything else because yeah. of all the opportunities, space is being utilized. Now look at how America play the game. Look at their mindset. Look how relentless they are in pursuit to control space. America is very intense. They run all the time because they want to dominate space. One, they don't want to give you no space to play, so they control the space. And as the moment America is in possession of the ball, they attack the spaces. They go as hard as possible, and they're relentless with it. So you look at the two countries. Remember, I told you I'm going somewhere. Yeah, yeah. See, you I look see. at my country and how we underutilize space, which creates this narrowness. And if you look at our map, it's kind of narrow. Okay. We're not really wide and long. We are we we are, we are a bit more long. We're not wide. Okay. So it it has a bearing on how you see space, because that is your culture. That is your layout. That is what you. That's what you understand. 
this is the space I see, then if I'm allowed to see this space, okay, now it's a different it's a different behavior, and you could see the different ways in how America plays the game, and how most of the Caribbean nations, most sometimes um, more other countries, more small countries, how they play the game so narrow, unless they're being influenced by um, different by a country that plays the game using the spaces on the field might be a colonized country yeah, and, sure. and they, they, the impact of Spain is on that country. So the country will play the way like sure Spain. Way. Mm -hmm. Spain is big. It utilizes space also. So if you influenced by that culture, even though you're a small country, then you will play that like way. That. So it's very important um, to, to, to note that soccer is a game of space and culture and identity can truly determine it based on the layout of your country. That's something to think about when we come back. What makes KMSA different? Um, first of all, we firmly believe KMSA, it's, um, it's purpose-driven. It's, it's not money driven we are here to make sure that every single athlete has the opportunity to be intentional about their gifts KMSA holds a high standard uh, regardless of uh, situations or circumstances that might limit us in terms of resources, we make sure that those resources that we have is maximized to its fullest potential. We create an environment where players must understand when they come in, um, the expectations and the standards are high, um, and you must um, be intentional and you must immerse yourself uh, within the environment um, to optimize your performances. Yeah, welcome back to the Coach Kyle Show. Kyle Lee here alongside me, the great Awala man. I, I know you were I know you were deep in thought. Yeah, no, it's a lot um, of things you were saying. It's, it's, about that. What was what, what was unpacking? <laughs> because I like I I got them again, your mind is just, you have a very creative mind and you think deep in a lot of things. So just the fact that you you said that where we live impacts the way we play. I've never thought of I don't I don't think a lot of people ever think like that. Like, especially if you live somewhere that's very small, that's the mindset of that's how you're going to play. Yeah. I've never thought about it like that. And you have <laughs> evidence to back it up. It's not just you talking. You talk about how your country plays and you talk about how U.S. play. That's exactly how U.S. play. They want to attack that space right after they get the ball. Yeah. So, you know, it just it just got me thinking. Now it wants me to go. I even want to go back and see how they play and see how my country plays. And based on where we live, is that the way? Is that the way we play? Well, well you know, we, we always <laughs> said the soccer player is not different from the person. The person plays <laughs> soccer. We always try to separate the right? person. <laughs> come, the person came from something. You understand? Sure, and yeah, that sure. is that is how you form culture. The culture is not uh, culture is fluid. You know, you create culture every day. So the more you see something, the more you hear something, the more you read something, the more you are part of something, it starts forming these habits and these behaviors, which, which leads um, to a certain result. You understand? The behavior determines the outcome. So the more resources that you could tap into, the more studies you can tap into to figure out why you are where you are, you start realizing some of the things that you didn't take as, as important, yeah. they are really important because even how you how you coach a player space, it must be based on where this player is coming from and what they were taught. Try teaching a child who was always sheltered and keeping a certain space and not allowed to move around and do what they want. Um, try teaching them space. 
<laughs> you will see what will happen. <laughs> now, give them a whole lot of space to do whatever they want, and then they find themselves in a tight situation like you, <laughs> then they're like, they're like fish out the water. Right. They don't know how to operate. I think that, I think there's a story with the that I, I heard with the with the when in with the elephant when they're young, okay, they tie they tie them to a tree. That's why you all that's why you always see elephants together. Because they tie them to a tree so that they don't go away from, from the pot. Okay. So if you tie somebody, if you tie them to a tree for all those years <laughs> and they are around the people or they are around the other elephants all the time. When you lose when you lose that out, the only thing they know yes. is to be in there. Yeah. So they stay there again. Culture, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. You see elephant. How much time you see uh, when you when you see anything on TV with elephants, one elephant over there and, and ten on the other side. They're always together. They're always together because that is what they were taught. So that's why we try to lay the foundation. If you didn't really understand, we were trying to show you that how sock is a game of space, but where you come from, your culture, your identity, the layout of your country, we firmly believe it plays a role in how you utilize space and how you control space. And if you don't know what those two things mean, utilizing space relates to attack. Controlling space relates to defending. Um, we want to talk about two things though, as we as we, we get into the, the meat of this program, is how we utilize space. Okay. We can utilize space from two perspectives. The first one is the individ individualized perspective. Okay. We can utilize space from an individual perspective or individualized spacing. Um, this is where the individual constantly finding space and looking for space. So like what you mentioned earlier, um, when, I, when, when, I, when I was here, I felt like I didn't have to look for space. The space was given to me and I could do what I want. But when I get to Africa, it was a different situation. This also creates, uh, this also has an, an emotional influence that could negatively impact that person. And you spoke to that, yeah, yeah, right? right? When you got there, you're like, oh, oh shoot, I can't play. Because... The importance of utilizing that space and the import and the and the lack thereof mm -hmm. puts you in this emotional state. Emotions, energy in motion. What happens when there's a negative? Um, when you display a negative emotion, it affects you. It has an, an it has an impact on you that don't bring out the best um, the best in your game. The other, the other difficult thing about individualized um, spacing, you are you are easily analyzed. I can easily analyze an individual behavior. So you got countries and you got teams that focus on the individuals, especially um, for me, the local these local community clubs and these. Um, you know, the clubs that oftentimes put elite at their names or development at their names, they look for individuals because we said this before, individual yeah, produce yeah. results <laughs> and results produce. produce the revenue. So when that happens, what the young player is not understanding, when you get to the higher level, coaches can easily analyze your behavior and they could take away what you do well uh, what do you think about no that? that is true because we had the when i went to the academy back home he, he, he pointed me out right away and especially if you're coming from america a lot of to be honest a lot of a lot of different cultures don't like the way americans play they say we can't play so they picked me out right away because i reacted so slow to everything everything was just slow so I was like, okay. He's like, yeah. You think you're in America? This, 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 this is not how we play here. Oh, so that already just now in my mind is like, okay. I don't know how we play. 
Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. It, it, it definitely put a negative impact in my mind. I said, okay, I just either I get it or I can't play. And if these again, <laughs> we're going back to there's two ways you can utilize space. We'll, we'll dive into the other one, but we're talking about you can you can have an individualized perspective on how you utilize space. The the downside to that is you are easily analyzed. And once you once somebody could uh, uh, analyze what you do well and what you don't do well, you are now limited because it's easy to do that. Okay, and and which leads to the dangers of private sessions. You know, when you're doing private sessions um, or private training that is individualized and not with a team concept, okay. it creates that mindset. <laughs> you create a play that can be easily analyzed. So we could we could go do private session, but if the private session is to develop just the individual without a team concept, then you are doing a disservice to the young player. So as a young player, you have to be careful that when you're doing private session, it's not just based on you as an individual getting better, but it's based on you as an individual getting better within a team concept. Mm-hmm. Now, how you do that is based <laughs> on the level and the intelligence of the person you have put your um, your, your your trust in. Yeah, because yeah? we hear a lot about you know individual training and all these things. Um, But if you don't truly understand, you are oftentimes wasting wasting your resources because soccer is a game of space. You can you can teach, you can do private session, right? Okay. But it must be based on a team concept that the individual understands. Okay. It must not be, I'll teach you how to dribble. Or you're going to learn how to head the ball. But it's a private session. Okay. How do you bring that same, uh, that same aspect within a team concept? How are you going to do it? Very difficult, right? Something to think about. <laughs> so it's not just running and paying $30 and $60 and saying, I'm doing private, so I'm going to get better. Okay, it will lead to something just now, right? You know, think about that a second. It's okay. I know right now you might be feeling like, what am I doing at my private center? What is he talking about? That's not what I do. You will, you will see. You will see what I'm talking about. Because once... Again, once you start focusing only on, you know, you must focus on the individual. What they don't tell you is you focus on the individual based on the team concept. So you're developing the individual to be uh, that can connect with players, that can connect with functional groups, and that can connect connect with the collective approach. You're not just doing privates to develop the individual you can't stop there you have to end the statement within the team concept individual concept when utilizing when it comes to utilizing and controlling space the game is a game of 11 players that's your team plus the other players on the bench so it can't be limit limited just to you so be careful with these private sessions because that might be the reason you're not truly excelling because everything is in your little in, in your small area. And now you're going to feel and you, and you don't have that small area, you have a big area, and your mind cannot, your mind can't really conceptualize these two things. Because whatever goes in comes out. It's it. You're not a different person when you're on the field. The person plays the game. So as much situations you can find yourself in that relates to this, to the, to this concept, um, 
um, of the game and space and controlling and utilizing space, you are better suited um, to live out your dreams. What about if a coach asks you? Yes. What about if a coach asks you? Okay. For example, our our academy, we have five teams or six teams on the field, on a regular size soccer field. This teaches them how to think fast to be playing in a small area. This teaches our our, our boys and girls how to play fast because they got to think faster because we ain't got too much space to play with. Okay, so you, you it's all about are the players um, are the players able to internalize what you're teaching within that small space? Because okay. is it a reality based session or is it an objective based session? And if it's an objective based yeah. session, it's very important that the players still understand and can still internalize the purpose or the why within that session. Because if you if you say I'm going to use small space, small space, small space, small space all the time, what do you think is going to happen when you go to a big space? <laughs> so how you teach that small space to maybe, like you said, to help them to think faster, to help them to make quicker decisions, then you make sure that they're able to internalize that within the, 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 the bigger picture of the game you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no. Because what happened when a team give you a whole? What happened if a team give you a whole lot of space? <laughs> You're not used to that. You still playing in that <laughs> small space. <laughs> so you can do that, okay. and that might be a good excuse because you want to put five teams on the field, all right? <laughs> but you can't, like, you can't keep doing the same thing over okay. and over and expect a different result. But again, there's there's reality based. And then there's objective training. It's very important whatever mm -hmm. you do within your environment and you understand your players, how they're going to utilize space because the game is a game of space. You have to know the intelligence, intelligent level of your players. Okay? Because Spain can train in a small area all the time. That's what I see. That's what I was about to go. But they understand how to <laughs> utilize space in a big area. And these are professional players. So if you keep putting players who don't understand how to even use the whole field, you keep putting them in small spaces, they will never learn how to use big spaces because their mind already set on using small spaces anyway. So it's about knowing your players and understanding all those factors because and how dangerous it is to have this individual perspective because, again, the game, how we use spaces from two different perspectives. The first one is the individualized perspective. And we show, we are showing you that there's really no um, there's really no benefits, to be honest, okay. with an individualized behavior. The individual must develop within the team concept. Okay, and I will show you why just now. Just stay, just be patient and stay with me a bit uh, as I as I unpack this thing. Because when you think about uh, when you drive a car, you don't come out your car to determine where and when you will turn. That means that you trying to drive the car outside of the car. But you have to become the car to drive the car. Yeah, you, you're struggling with that one, right? <laughs> right. I'm like, where's guy? Right. So, I'm like, where's guy? So, <laughs> got me thinking. The reason why you become the car, okay, because there's a system around you that allows you to maneuver that car. Because you don't come out the car to determine how much distance you need from this car. You don't come in the car and say, okay, <laughs> this is the curb. Let me go back in the car and go in the car. No, you're doing it based on all the factors around the car. So you become the car. The car don't become you. You become the car because you're driving the car based on a system. Okay. <laughs> No, you gotta give me time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We you can't give, just. You have to give the, okay, you gotta have, give me time. You have to give the viewers time. Yeah, you want So when you're a good driver, you drive with unconscious competence. 
you're not just driving based on you, the individual. That's, I'm showing you how dangerous it is to, to do private session or have just this individual mind because it's, it's based on you, but SAC is not based on you only. It is based on many different factors. And I use the car system because you are you become the car and based on the system and based on the other cars, based on the distance of the curb, based on all these things, you develop an unconscious competence that you know I must go wider. I must pull to the left. Be because of what? Because of something <laughs> that is happening. It is not based only on you. Yeah. Yes? That's true. You're right. Think about somebody who can't drive over. Who struggle? Who just got the license? <laughs> they always look at. They always. They always look. They always <laughs> up on the wheel, <laughs> tight, tight <laughs> like this, and they look in, and they look in. <laughs> if they see a big truck coming to the side of them, they, and they are, and they're not comfortable, they pull to the side of the road. That's them. You understand? That's true. That's they are true. taking charge. But if they, if they understand space, stop is a game of space. <laughs> If they understand space and they know to calculate that space, <laughs> how far that truck is, how far the curb is, they will drive with one hand and just leave. <laughs> Unconscious competence. Okay? But when you become an individual player, you lose the opportunity to gain what we're talking about, which, will, which leads to my next point. The, the next, the other way, which is the better way from our perspective of understanding the game is a game of space. This is organizational and structure. Organizational and structure will truly help you to understand that soccer is a game of space. We'll come back and we will bring the curtains down on this topic. Improvement is a process, not a quick fix. This December, come to KMSA Winter Supplemental, where you can learn all the principles of the four moments of the game. Welcome back to the Coach Kayo Show. You're with your host, um, Kayo Day, alongside me, the great wall. And we talk about that space just now, and I felt like um, maybe you got a bit rattled with um, what we were talking about. But I was trying to show you um, how a system and or an organizational structure um, Best, best help you to understand space. Um, we use a system to drive. That system is based on how others are utilizing the space in which you are in. The car is the best way to, to, to sum this up. You know, this understanding establish a permissive behavior, this freedom, right? This freedom and confidence on the road. When you when you believe that you could calculate distance, you um, you know where the other cars are. You know where the line is on the road. You know you know these things. You you have this sense of freedom, and you're able to maneuver yourself. When you have a good understanding of space that you could go around this car and get in, and then go around the second one and get in. You do it because I've been in cars where people are like, I don't believe I could go. And the car was like three cars away. You understand? They 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 they're not that confident yeah. in 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 understanding space because they they don't understand the organization and the structure. You see the lines, the other cars, and everything. They are working within a system. This, 
and it could be based on the distance. It could be based on where the traffic is going. It could be based on the stoplight. It could be based on what else? What else? What else you have on the street that help you to make decision? What else? What else? What else? What else you they have? Lights, road. There's a lot of exits, different exits. All of these yeah, things. Yeah, you see yeah. the system, right? Yeah. The system allows you to navigate better. Okay. The system is always larger than the individual. Why? Because the individual can only make good decisions based on the system. If it's left up to the individual, like I said, you can be easily analyzed. And all that you do well can be taken away from you. But when there's a system, there's, there's much more things to think about, much more things to stop that allows you to flourish. If you look at Messi, how he, how he understands space. One time he's here, and then you can't see him. Yes? And then he's popping up in front of goal. He's not in the game for 50, 60, 60 <laughs> minutes. And then in the last 20 minutes, he's an animal. He understands space. He understands. He understands based on what his team is doing and based on the system and the structure, he's able um, to find that, sp that space. Based on structure and organization, um, con control space um, through the functions of the game. Um, the problem oftentimes comes when people want to learn. And what we're seeing here, the problems, problems come when people want to learn, but they don't want to be taught. Mm. Mm. So right now, if you've never heard this before, you might be saying, well, I don't, I don't <laughs> really understand it. Yes, you don't because you, you want to be better as a player, but you have to learn and learn, learning starts inward. So organization and structure encourages autonomy. Everybody's fighting for the independent thinker. Yeah. But you are already an independent thinker when you make yourself the everything of the of the team. You the you the you the you the big boss. You you the big you the best player. You the captain. So you you tell all of these things. You understand? Mm -hmm. You will never develop autonomy like that. To develop autonomy is to be in a system where you have to connect with others. And once you're able, once you're able to develop this this thinking, where this this holistic thinking within the group, then the action is more fluent. There's an ebb and flow in how you play the game. That is where the autonomy comes from, because I know exactly where a wall is in that space. I know after the first action, what is my second action? And then my third action, which relates to the game. That is how autonomy comes. Autonomy don't come because you're reading and reading and reading. Read you retain it. The game is situational. So it's these principles and sub-principles that you must be able to master within an organizational structure and a system of play that allows you to develop autonomy in soccer. Because your actions must be connected to a system. Does that make any sense? No, it, it does. It does. But how, how, how can you explain this to, to younger players that don't understand all this, especially someone that's coming from, from a, say, community club? Yes. Okay, and he wants to get to a certain level. And he's never heard of none of these things before. And he goes to say you try out for an academy team. Mm -hmm. And what they're used to is just, you know, just rondos, small space, and then they go straight to big space without understanding, like you said, the reality until understand how to utilize the space from small space to big space. And then you break it down just like how you did here. And they say, Coach, I, I really don't understand what you're saying. And it's based on it's all based on age and stages, obviously. But the problem. Sometimes when we move from small space to big space, small numbers to big numbers, what we don't understand is a different cognitive demand. There's a different cognitive demand when you're playing 2v2 when, rather than when you're playing 11v11. You have to think about more people, about more situations, about more, about more things. 
When you're playing two V2s, you have less cognitive demands, but you have a higher physical demand because you have to do more running. You have to find more space. You have to do all of these things. So how we teach that and how we allow our players to internalize and able to conceptualize the principles of the game, they will be better able to utilize and control space. But you can only do that with a system, an organizational structure. This notion, you know who, you know, the only people, just that you go play, just put the ball out and go and play and you'll get better, is the people who don't want to do no work. I want you guys to understand that. And coaches like to tell you, just go on the field and the more you kick the ball and the more you play, the more you play, you will get better. Those coaches are lazy. They already did two sessions, so they're trying to find a way out. They're trying to give you freedom, but freedom without competence is no freedom. You can be like a chicken without no head. So we talk about just going in the field and let the kids play. Give them a ball. Give them a ball. They have no coordination. You think they can just develop coordination on in their dreams? They, they, you must have the ability to create an organizational structure, a system in which you do things that creates better behavior, that creates consistent behavior that will en- enable good habits. And when it comes to space, you cannot just say you're a good dribbler, but you don't understand space. How many times we, we see players you say, okay, you're a good dribbler. When do you dribble? Um, when the player's in front of you. <laughs> okay, where do you dribble? Ah, how you mean? How you mean? You see, you always know when somebody you don't know, right? They start looking for the answers to questions. Okay? So, these are some of the things we're talking about. The important soccer is a game of space. All the things that you do and all the things that you're learning is to utilize space. And it's to control space. That's all. But it must not be individualized. Okay? It must, the individuals must understand within a team concept, which, which deals with organization and structure. Just like the care. We need the lines we need we, we need the, 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 the direction of the traffic. We need all of these factors to help us to better utilize the space that is given to us. It's a system. And what happens when you outside of that system? You get charged. There's a speed limit that controls how you drive. It's a, that's all systems. There, there's systems that are put in place to control the behavior on the roadway, which is space. On the field of play, there are principles that you must learn. There's a technical aspect that you must learn. There's a psychological aspect that you must learn. There's a social aspect that you must learn. These are all systems, an organizational structure that will enable you to better use space. What, what do you think about that? Well, with the country that's so mm-hmm. individualized, Kyle, how, yeah. how 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 do you how would you work that out? Everybody talks about individual. When somebody comes to you and talk to you about, you know, they want to get better, and I worry about they say, okay, can you do privates? The first thing they ask you, can you do privates? Well, this is why they, this is why they will never win a World Cup. God forbid. They have to change. And I believe they are trying to make the changes okay. uh, because they understand if they want to compete, like in a, if America want to compete with Europe and those teams, they're going to have to understand systems and organizational structure. It can't just be individualistic. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to develop the individual. And I keep saying it because I don't want you to say that, okay, you, you, you so you weren't <laughs> with a team anymore. No. We're saying you have to worry about each and every player. But if you're going to be a top program, those players must understand team concepts. 
They must understand system. Now you see coaches are taking players like Pep. Pep would not take a player just because you could dribble or pass the ball. Pep would take a player that fits his system. That is fits his structure, his, his idea of football or soccer. Because he wants, he understands if all of these players can think alike in terms of how space is used and how you control space, more times they're not. You listen to Tuckell when Chelsea lost, he said, We we had we had so much transition moments within Man City half, but we weren't able to execute, we weren't able to utilize the space exactly. as a group. Exactly. Exact words. We just wasn't <laughs> on our yeah, game. Yeah, exactly the music. You see, Tuckell and Pep and these coaches understand the importance of space. Mm -hmm. To the point where they identify with specific spaces on their field of training to make sure that the players are constantly connected with this idea to build the autonomy within the group. Every individual must understand the team concept. That's why we go back to the private training and how dangerous it is. <laughs> Everybody. And you wonder why you're playing well at travel or you're doing a bit well within your club, but that's the farthest you will go. Because that's not the expectation at the higher level. So excuse me. Let's let's bring this thing, bring this thing down. We're already over an hour. Sorry for keeping you so late. Um hopefully you could go back and you and listen to this podcast. Soccer is a game of space. So if you're young and you and you have this desire to play at a higher level, then you must know and understand the importance of space from a systematic perspective as an individual. So we're not neglecting the yes. individual development or what they call the IDPs. But you, you, you heard what I said, right? From a systematic perspective as an individual. So the individual must develop the understanding of the game, but not individualize the game, but from a team concept. It's very important to utilize all the resources to maximize your investment. Um, either way, resources are being wasted. Even though it fits your budget, <laughs> even though it fits your budget, you're still lacking this understanding. Mm -hmm. So it could fit your budget, but it don't mean your player can get to the next level. That don't mean that your child can get to the next level just because it fits your budget. If it fits your budget, it must be based on all these factors that influence and impact the understanding of the game. And we cannot neglect culture we cannot ne neglect identity. We cannot neglect country layout. We cannot we, we cannot neglect those things because all those things play a part in how we play the game with space because the game is a game of space. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in today. I took a lot today. But no, but one one big like I said, it's it's hard because I'm thinking about the two cultures that I that I came across, and it's it's very hard because America is very individualized. It's very very individualized. Everybody always there's so many private trainers more than coaches. Yeah, there's more private trainers than coaches. So it's it's you, what you're saying, which is which is we understand that <laughs> it's it's proven itself and it makes sense, but it's it's difficult. Kyle. That's why I always I always battling with coming from a culture that's so big on me, 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 mm -hmm. and just, you know, oh, she just had to get better because she has to score a lot of goals or he has to score a lot of goals. None of these other factors come into play. Yeah. And then again, it's how, it's how, we, it's how we're taught. We only, we, we, or what? we can only <laughs> do what we're taught. A lot of times we're taught things that are not true. It's, all, it's our right. responsibility to, to, to seek knowledge 
to understand our history, to understand where we came from, and and we start realizing some of the some of the the methodologies and the philosophies that are placed in our head, it's not even theirs who give it to us. They got it from something else that is not even a part of our original culture. And the ones who have this level of thinking or this stubborn way of doing things, they're not ready to really maximize the very investment they, they complain about because they don't have a growth mindset. Mm. They have a fixed mindset. All of us must have a growth mindset. All of us must look at ways and, 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 and look at things that we can change to improve what we do, to improve what we say. Now, everybody's not going to give you that chance. And that's okay. The responsibility is for you to give yourself mm -hmm. that chance to grow, to learn, to be better, and then keep moving forward, which, which if you are young, and you're out there and you might not you might not truly understand what Coach Coyote said tonight or Owal said tonight and you might be struggling. Listen, you have to look for other resources. You know, you hear something for the first time. Maybe you want to go and listen it again because you might not get it the first time. You might want to listen again and then you might get something out of it. That will that will intrigue your mind, that will that will bring certain things into perspective. So don't 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 be fixed. Don't be quick to say, well, this is the way and this is what I know. You know, there's there's other factors, there's other resources, there, there's a different day. It means something different is happening all the time. And you got to be ready to jump on that train. And if you don't know, especially if you're a young person, listen, you see this book here? Look at it. Okay. Break out the box. Yeah, it's right there. That's such a this is such a good book, right? It's written by Janelle McKinnon, um, a visionary, you know. And this clearly showed that coming from where she came from, to, to not be fixed with the label of nobody really does this and to have a growth mindset like, listen, I could go after this. It creates this world. It creates this, this, this freedom that there's no limits to what you can do. So if you get a chance, just, just type it in in Google. You can get it on um, on Amazon. Break out the box. Just type it in in, in your Google search. It's going to pop up. It's, it's, it's economical. It's, it's, not, it's not no big expensive book, so don't worry about your budget. You know? But for you young ladies, for, 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 for you young ones who might be looking for something, that you can do every day. This is a daily devotional book where you can read something every single day and get something that can inspire you, that can impact your life to go on your purpose. Like we said, our goal here is to impact young people's lives to live out their purpose, okay? So it's not just about soccer, but it's using soccer to, to take us to different resources that can empower us and make us into what God truly wants us to be. I want to thank you again for, for staying here uh, with us um, on this show, on this Coach Kaya show. And feel free to, to reach out to us with the, um, the information running along the screen um, if you want any information or you might have a desire to, to learn more about who we are and what we do. Um, you might even want to ask us a question. Feel free. Um, we're not primitive, as they say. Um, we're, you know, God bless all of us with a gift and with this uniqueness. And we hope that you don't limit us because of what we look like or what we or, or what we say. But we learn from other people who yeah. don't look like us. Because we must not limit ourselves to our own little narrow, our own narrow and our centralized way of thinking. We must be willing to have an open mind. We must be willing to have a growth mind. You know, people can say the worst things and it can teach you something. They can say the worst things. 
So it's about how you receive that message, how you process that message, how you analyze that message, and is that message congruent with you? And now you've got to say, all right, I'm out of that blind spot. Now I know because what they say, I can see. And that leads you um, to a different a different way of moving forward. So feel free to reach out to us. Please share this if if your if your colleague or your teammate didn't get a chance to look at it, share it, share it so that they could understand that what they're doing now might not be what they're supposed to be doing. And if they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, then they must challenge themselves to do more. So feel free to share this life. Feel free to, to support um, the, the KMSA movement um, and, and help us to reach more young people who have a need. Stay blessed and be encouraged. We'll see you back here next Monday at 8. A wide variety of episodes are already available, chock full of incredible insight from two qualified experienced coaches. Here are some previews of eye-opening quotes. Lots of players think they need to drive an hour or two hours to get good training. Because community clubs do not feel, most of them, if not all of them, don't feel the responsibility to provide every child the best opportunity. This is for players to have fun, so why not name it Rec? An elite league shouldn't be based on teams. It should be based on the coaching. There's no integrity in the game. It's all about business. It's it, That's all it is. There's nothing about soccer first. Everything is about giving the athletes an experience. We hope you are available to tune in. New episodes every Monday night.